Overhead Athletics, Max Wardell. We're going to actually go through a review of the International Shoe Fit Program certification. And I will caveat this. I have not done the entire certification, and I did not take the certification exam. The, the program is broken into three courses. You have a course that actually goes through foot biomechanics, a course that goes through shoe fit, and a course that goes through shoe structure, that sort of thing, if I were to give a general summarization. And it's actually created by the Gate Guys. So shout out to the Gate Guys. They have an awesome podcast. They have some good blogs. Follow them on social media, but definitely check out the podcast. That's, you know, that's uh a really, really great resource if you're interested in biomechanics, um, clinical neuroscience, and then GATE. So they'll talk about all sorts of different things. It's two chiropractors um, who are sports. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure they're both sports um, specialists, but I know one is for sure, and they've both done uh, extensive uh, continuing education in a ton of different things, including biomechanics, including neurology. So check out that podcast. I think those guys are awesome and something great to listen to while you're driving in your car, or chilling out. But they do have a shoe fit program, which is the national shoe fit program. And in the national shoe fit program, those three courses are broken down. I took the one about shoe structure and how the shoes are actually um, formed and then the differences in shoes. I was fortunate to have a biomechanics professor that we interviewed on the podcast, uh, Dave Tomsich, who taught us a great deal um, in depth about foot biomechanics, um, tail and navicular motion, how that relates to calcaneo cuboid motion, all sorts of different um, biomechanical thought processes and um, how that relates to uh, glo gross global movement as well as like focal movement. So I would, if you're, if you don't have a ton of information or you haven't gone in depth on the foot, I would definitely invest in the biomechanics of the foot um, pro or course for that program as well. But the shoe course itself, where they actually go through the construction of shoes, it is a ton of information. They're hour-long courses, video course with, um, you know, a uh, PowerPoint presentation, and it goes in into a ton of depth on each different thing, but it also leaves a lot of information for you to um, mentally connect the dots and um, think about strategically. So what I mean by that is it'll go through what the crash zone is, how this crash zone is different than this one, how to look at a crash zone and where it's oriented on the shoe, and then maybe how that might have an interplay with a lateral flare. So the crash zone where the heel hits and then if there's a flare or a lateral flare where the bottom portion of the shoe comes out a little farther on an angle, an oblique angle from the side and how that may push pronation but also how it may collapse. Those sorts of things are what's gonna run through your mind. They're gonna give you the foundation and then you have to think about, okay, what if this was combined with this? And this this one makes you pronate really fast but also this medial post makes you not pronate as far. So I'm gonna pronate really fast but I'm not gonna go as far into pronation if I have a lateral flare and a medial post. Those sorts of things you know, talking about the heel counter and all sorts of stuff like that, which is very, very useful information if you deal with the human body. I use this information when I'm actually working with athletes who are baseball players, they're throwing. So how does that shoe affect their foot stability when they actually drive off the mound or when they land? And I think this is a necessary component. They have the course for medical professionals, and they also have a course for like shoe retailers, which is if you're a coach or you're someone without, um, a ton of uh, depth of knowledge on anatomy, those sorts of things. You might want to check out the retailer version of the course. But if you're, you know, a medical professional or whatever, I I, I recommend the course. It's like a hundred bucks, approximately one twenty, something like that. And for an hour course, you're probably going to want to watch it four or five times to get every uh, piece of information out of it because they move very fast, but they also cover a ton of things. And when I go through a course like this, what I'm considering and what I'm thinking about is, okay, here's the information, but then how does this information relate to this type of foot? Or how does um, this type of shoe, when it has this other portion of the shoe in a different way, how does that 
relate to foot biomechanics or ankle biomechanics or hip biomechanics or I might think of a patient or an athlete that I've had in the past and, and how um, putting them in a certain type of shoe could alter how they move as they actually throw the ball or as they walk. You could go through the course, watch it one or two times and get the information or you could go through that course pause it at different times or even just let it continue to play and think about different types of shoes and then maybe have to rewind or go back through it a few times which is the way that that I've gone through it and I've found it to be very beneficial. I also think taking notes on it would be very useful as well because if you're not familiar with shoes especially running shoes you're not going to um, necessarily understand all the terminology and so detailing and, and writing notes on all the terminology could be something that drastically benefits you. So I don't know if the certification will benefit you guys, depending on where you work. Maybe if you work with a ton of runners or you work at, with high level runners, the certification may be something you need. Or if you don't um, you know, have a ton of uh, credentialing, the certification might be something you need. I didn't need the uh, certification, but I wanted the knowledge of the one course. And so that was the course I took. But I wouldn't be surprised if I went back and, you know, took uh, one or two other courses. And so they go through, you know, sizing and fitting the shoe and that sorts of thing. Whatever your guys' perspective is as you go through the course is going to change, you know, what you get out of it. If you want to work at a um, shoe place that sells shoes, running shoes and fits shoes, you might want to go through the entire program if you're just going to go through it and say hey i have a guy that'll fit the shoes knows what he's doing to fit the shoes i just want to understand what this um, particular individual needs you may only want one or two of the courses there and if you want to understand how to assess the biomechanics of the foot and then how that interplays with the type of material as well as um, the structure of the shoe you may want to take multiple of the uh courses or even the entire certification so i believe that there's um the three courses which are about 100 bucks each if you buy them all together and then you have to pay an additional 100 dollars to take the examination um, to become certified so 400 bucks for the entire thing or you could buy individual courses like i did for 120 a piece or you could buy the entire course package without the certification test for 300 I don't know that the certification test is um, needed for a lot of individuals, but if you work in the shoe store, or like I said, if you work with high level runners or something like that, and you want to add some credentialing behind your name, then you might want to consider taking the certification exam. If you're just, if your goal is to get uh, the knowledge, then you might want to take one or two courses or all of the courses um, and not worry too much about the exam. I would also check out the Gate Guys podcast if you're unsure because they go through a bunch of different things, uh, biomechanics, shoes, everything on the podcast. It's called the Gate Guys or the Gate Guys podcast. And um, Ivo and Sean over there are very, very knowledgeable and um are definitely experts in the field. So if you're questioning whether this has, you know, a depth of knowledge to it or um, uh, a ton of information, it definitely does. That's that's not the question. Um, but like I said, each course is an hour long video. And so it's nothing where you're going to be quizzed and that sort of thing. It's an hour long video, which is basically a seminar. So they've given a seminar and you're basically paying your money to get the virtual format of that seminar. And even though it's a bit pricey, 120 bucks or 100 bucks for an hour, like I said, I've watched the thing four times and I'll probably watch it a fifth time um, to get all the information out of it. And it's something that you're not gonna necessarily find in another place. Um, you're not gonna find that level of analysis of shoes from the biomechanical perspective that they have in anywhere else. So yeah, you can learn about shoes, but you may not learn about it um, with that specific perspective or in that depth um, in another um, free resource. You can try, um, and I recommend learning about all the different types of foam and that sort of thing, uh, which there's a ton of free resources if you Google them. I think that the $100, yes, it is a bit pricey for that hour-long lecture, but, but it's hard to find that information anywhere else. And if you split it up with a buddy, which is what I did, you know, I had a couple friends go in on it, you break it up, it's not that expensive. You might buy it for your clinic, something like that, 10 bucks for 10 different people and 
you know, now you've got all can share and watch the lecture. So that's what I recommend. I will see you guys in the next video.